7028, Digital Marketing Communication, Final Assessment Task and Advisory Notes, a conversational uh, explanation of some expectations I hold towards the Final Assessment Task. So this is the State of Play Report. It is 30%. It is your final task. It is due in at the end of the semester and it contains three component elements. So let's do the quick overview of the task, then let's go into the three elements. Fundamentally, what I am looking for is a short report. It is roughly 2,000 words in length. It is a paper that is designed to discuss future trends. I want you to use industry data. I want you to use academic data. Now, by industry data, I mean anything that exists. I'm talking white papers, blogs, government reports, statements from corporations, whatever's out there that doesn't come with a journal, textbook, or similar academic source as its point of origin. I also want you to make use of the existing knowledge that's out there in the academic, yeah, the academic range. Find stuff that supports the argument you're trying to make. You are working across the topic block areas, social media advertising, web-based advertising, mobile, app-based, offline, print media, offline, outdoors, TV, radio, and cinema. These are your domains. You should be familiar with these. You should have been processing and working on these. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. You are going to be asked to produce a paper and a critical part of this paper is that you are presenting a case for investment or divestment. That means you have to pick a side and state which side you are on. You cannot go and say, oh, you should totally get out of social media but spend more money on us. You should divest from web-based advertising and increase your budgets in those areas. Do not be internally contradictory. Make a call, money up or money down. If you want to say invest more, Give a rationale why. If you want to say invest less, give the rationale why. But fundamentally, your only structural considerations that I have preset that you have to do is that it needs to be evidence-based and research-led. You need to use both industry and academic data, and you have to conclude invest or divest. However, you want to present the rest of the information. However you want to do this is yours. I'm not setting a strict structure. I'm giving you the freedom to use that 2,000 words to create what you want. To back that up, because it's a group, individual's group task, on one page, I'm going to ask that you simply document who is the member of your team. So who's in the team? and what their contributions were. This page is not going to be used to weight or reweight the assignment. Everyone scores the same points for their assignment. You all rise and fall as one. You are a team and you get the outcomes of the team. What this page will do for me is it will also ensure that all members of the team get the marks for the paper so I know who's in your team. It's one of the most common problems I have to solve at the tail end of the semester is figuring out who was attached to what project. The RSM has also introduced a policy around uh, individual contributions. This is the first time I'm using this, so I freely admit I'm, I'm unfamiliar with this policy um, and I'm using it this way. This is what I'm doing with it. I'm using it for you to list who's on your team and what they contributed to the assignment. One page. Please use full names and student numbers. Let me know who's in the team. Now, the third and final requirement of the operation 
was I asked for Instagram ready infographics. Uh, the idea here is that I want a visual summary of your 2000 words and I want it done as a single image. Instagram ready sizes are squares, 1080 by 1080. On the horizon, 1080, 566. On the vertical, 1080, 1350. The aim here with each of these elements is that you are summarizing visually a recommendation, the recommendation of your report. So it should clearly indicate in the image, invest or divest. And since you are a team, your team should be consistent. But since this is an individual contribution, each infographic one infographic per member of the group should be original to that group member. So each member of the group has to contribute an infographic, which means that each member of the group must be conversant with and familiar with the ideas of the paper. So at the very least, you all have to have read something, read it, and created the infographic for it. So this is the final requirement is each member of the team one infographic summary in the size and shapes as would befit an Instagram post. And that's it, job's done.